morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. On the first day of uh, Tuesday, for the first uh, first time in this year, <laughs> the 7th of January. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good to see all you excited Cyber Traders. Looks like everyone is now starting to make it back to work. All right. Just uh, last night, I just booked my trip uh, for February, guys. So uh, looking forward to it. I, couldn't, I didn't, couldn't take off for Christmas, but... You know, uh, did a lot of work here, but that's okay. You know what I mean? That's the beauty about it. I was actually pretty happy I didn't because it was, we had some great, great moves in the market, which was awesome. But um, but we're going to get ready to start looking at some stocks and making some really nice moves. We had some, we had some, you know, we had some really good pre-market stocks that had some really nice moves. And we'll start off with the APOP. Um, like I told you, I was in the room. I usually start around 745. Uh, I see, you know. There's there, there's a bunch of you that show up, which is great. So we did pretty well on this one, and it just started backing off. Um, you know what? And hopefully everybody learned a little bit about this stock. You know, we, yeah, I mean, I know you know we do some coaching in pre-market now, and uh, you know you could see the stock was breaking lower lows once it hit that high above eight bucks. But everyone, if you were here when you logged in at you know I just caught it right at the right when it made its pop right there, right above around six fifty, but um, right around here. And then a uh, good thing we just got in and then sure enough, I ran away to eight. I got out right around here. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't get out up here on top. I thought it was going to keep going, but I got a little nervous. It went a little too fast, too much, but then it kind of died out. And good thing we got out because you could see how the stock broke lower lows. But anyway, uh, that stock looks really, really interesting. It's on our watch list, but we'll talk a little bit more about them. I got probably about like six or seven of them already in pre-market. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened yesterday. All right, so we had a couple of decent stocks that did make some moves. I want to start off with the SDC trade. Let me fix my chart right here. So this one had a really, really nice pop. Uh, it's been on a, a, a little bit of a move, but as you could see, the trend kept going lower and lower. It wasn't a great move, but it was a good short. You know, It was just, to me personally, it was just a little slow. That's the only thing. I was a little, a little slow on it. So that was the only thing that bothered me about it. Uh, a R A D A was another one that did that moved really really nice. That one you could see it right there, nice little push. I had a couple of little nasty shakes here and there, but other than that, she was okay. I kind of thought she was uh, she was all right. I kind of liked it a little bit, but um, you know uh, you could see how the stock went from 560 all the way uh, up until around 620. But the big move was going right into the close. I mean, this thing just literally went from 620 up to $7 like that in the blink of an eye. And, you know, and the rule is hold to the close. Doesn't work all the time. But in this case, you know, having that nice little pop right there, that was pretty cool. Kind of really was one of the best trades of the day. And, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on with this CEI, but this thing is just, it's got some nasty shakes, but then she like pops, you know, it's like, it's, I don't know, Shockingly, it's you gotta have it's more of a swing trade more than anything, but it's it's just it, what this stock you guys remember it. This thing was so expensive. You could see it was at a hundred to four sixty. It got destroyed, but um, it's hard. It, it honestly, it's a little bit hard to day trade the stock. Um, it's got ten cent swings. You know, it's got a major resistance levels at three. Uh, I made good money on it, and then I lost a lot of it. Actually, on this trade, I was I was up, uh, I was up three quarters of a point. And then end up, um, and then it dropped a buck on me, which is kind of unusual. Good thing I got out of it. Um, I was able to salvage a little bit, but it just went down so fast in pre-market. But you know what? She's all over the place. She's. I would kind of be a little cautious trading the CEI, so be very careful on that. And then obviously the Rite Aid guys, the Rite Aid. Listen, great short right there. That was one of our great, great winners. To me, I was. This is this is how you know it's a short squeeze when it goes from eight to about twenty-five, and now we're back down to thirteen. So there's another one that actually did really well too. Now, um, now regarding about this morning, listen, I just want to hop over here and talk about the biggest mover of the morning, the AP, uh, the APOP, and I just want to point out something very, very unique about this stock. Now this stock had a major, major resistance levels at six dollars. How do I know that? You gotta look at the level four, okay? And when I bring it up over here, you could see that right here there was a seventy thousand share seller out there. He's been out there for about oh, 
a little while. He really packed in the orders right here. Once that guy got uh, got executed, canceled about most of his orders, thing just ran from six and look where it is now to 660. And we're talking about less than five minutes. So if you're here and using the level four guys, that was your little telltale window on the APOP. I don't know why it's not updating on my screen. But uh, but on the level four, I mean, there you go. Listen, you could do all the anal analytics you want. When the, the, the money's the money, just follow the money, and that kind of like leads, leads the way for you. So that was pretty awesome. APLS, another one to bring it up. So this thing gapped up really big. And you could see it ran from like 32, um, 31, all the way to 50. She's starting to trend down right now. I was, you know, I, I was looking at, 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 on orders out there. I don't know. It doesn't really, it looks like people starting to take some profits right there. But I don't know, The I would probably stay away from it. One of them that I really like was the ADXS uh, trade. That one's moving uh, very inexpensive stock. It is a it is a penny stock, and how we know that is because of the tenths of a penny right there. But this one's going up. Uh, been uh, been pretty nice. It was sixty uh, sixty cents. Went to a dollar twenty. You know, uh, it's got a nice little push right there, and you know, it's really pretty much tr testing up here. But it's got resistance levels at six sixty, so we'll keep an eye on that one. That was not terrible. Uh, T Y M E, another one right there, taking a little bit of a. Had a little bit of a gap up. She's one thing I like about this stock. She's starting to build a little bit of a Fausto flag. You guys can notice it right there. So if she does break out this um, 96, 97, she's gonna, you know, stock. You know, listen, it was at 280 this morning. So it dropped. That was a hell of a drop. A buck, man. That was some hell of a drop. But anyway, she's starting to build a little Fausto flag right there, which looks awesome. So I kind of like that one right there. Uh, what else did I found this morning? Oh, we got about four more. T R I L. This one looks really nice, very cheap, very inexpensive, nice little spread. Everybody can afford to trade it. I think everyone, everybody can see that this one looks pretty good right here. APA, another one I found this morning. This is actually the one I kept talking about in the morning in the cyber group room. I like it keeps breaking. It just kind of broke a higher high. Uh, these are the two that actually I was big more fans of. I was more a fan of the APOP and this one, the APA. This one obviously looks pretty damn strong, guys. So look at that. I mean, unfortunately for some of us, it is a $30 stock. Not a lot of us can afford to trade it because it's, you know, listen, when you deal more expensive stocks, you deal more experienced traders. So just got to be a little cautious about trading this one. But she does look pretty damn strong. I was looking at the orders out there on level four. There is a, uh, there's been a, there's a seller that he's been out there since about, I don't know, 8.30 this morning. He looked like he added to his position right around $30.30. It looks like she's trying to test it um, on the level four I'm, I'm seeing. Let's see if he gets taken out right there. But, you know, it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's going to be doing it. Um, he looks like it just hit it and came right back down. Remember, follow the money. CANF, another one right there. Nice little cheap stock right there moving. That stock, uh, CNF, is... You know, not bad. Nice little move. Nice little pop right there. Uh, has a decent spread. And uh, I'm throwing this. I'm throwing the CI back on that watch list. You know, just but just be careful. You gotta be. You gotta look at the. Um, the stock's got some nasty spread. Just be very careful of that. All right. So listen, we're it's Tuesday. It's Hump Day. Markets up a little bit. Well, actually, it's not back down again. It's really not going too, too much. Down 22, 24 points right now. So, you know, I know, I know, we had this whole war scare thing and all that stuff. Listen, just remember, just sit in cash. As long as you're in cash, you'll be fine. You know, just find the stocks that are moving and just focus on making your day's pay. And just like when you're trained what to do. And you know, and and then one thing I do want to make a, a uh, you know a point to bring up to everyone. If you're trading today's markets and and like you know, you're not really in your day trading. Try not to focus on you know the 20 cents, the 50 cent moves. If you're not consistent, you know, take a break. Take go for five, 10 cents. You don't got to go for the big home runs, right? You're gonna listen. You're gonna make your own luck. You don't want to be lucky. You make your own luck. Okay, this is all about skill. Skill is you go out there, you make your day's pay, and that's it. Um, just really quick on the APA, you want to bring that back up. Uh, I told you there's that big seller at $30.30, $30 and it looks like now it's just backed off to 
29.80. So you can see that big seller is really holding it tight right there. It's got to break through that big seller if it's going to go any higher. But you can see it, it is the fifth biggest percentage gainer. A lot of volume, 1.5 million shares already traded. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, don't forget, today is a very busy day. We have You have Traders Talk that we're going to be doing at 11 o'clock with Josh. And then uh, I'm going to be doing a multi-speaker event today on Festival of Traders. Uh, hopefully, everybody gets a chance to, to join us. The market's going to, you know, that's a good time to do it right after the market closes. And then I'm also going to be doing another event on Thursday with Investors Expo. All right. So uh, a lot of great speakers on all these events. Listen, I always tell everybody, you got to listen to a bunch of other presenters and, and get the feel. You know, I surround myself with good traders. Uh, it's always get to, I, I, it is always very important to, get to know a little bit about all the different markets so you get to appreciate it. And so it's okay to try a little bit of everyone's, you know, but um, I just like day trading because I like to sleep at night, like I always say. <laughs> all right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll see you back. Uh, we'll start commentating in about another, like I said, when the market opens up in 15 minutes. And then we'll see you, uh, we'll be doing another broadcast at 11 o'clock uh, for Traders Talk. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.